The city of Leicester is one of the most crime-stricken areas in the UK, according to a national survey. The population and crime rates are all above national average and nowhere is that more obvious than here in West Leicester. However, the local community have all been working together lately on the Square Mile project, a government-backed scheme including over 10 different projects which aim to bring the community together and improve the area. Hi, my name's Becky and today we're going to be looking at the project Breastfeed and Baby on the Go. Midwives at De Montford University have been communicating with the local community to produce an informative leaflet on how to breastfeed and where to go for help. Breastfeeding in the public has become somewhat of a taboo within today's society as some people view it as inappropriate. We went out into the city centre to see what people thought on the topic. It doesn't embarrass the child, it doesn't embarrass the mother and it certainly doesn't embarrass me. What could be more natural? It's just nature progressing. Um, I don't have a problem with breastfeeding in the home or in front of family members, but in public I'm not sure it's totally, um, totally, um, I'm not sure the people around that person would be totally great with that. Um, you know, breasts have become very sexual things these days and it's uncomfortable for some people, but as long as the mums do it sensitively. We came here to the Edith Murphy building at De Montford University to talk to Tina Harris, the project leader for Breastfeeding Baby on the Go. What does your role in the project entail? I am actually the project lead for the Square Mile project Breastfeeding Baby on the Go. That involves um, actually facilitating the project team, um, creating the booklet and then getting it out to women. What are the benefits to mothers in the community? Um, approximately 74% of women choose to start breastfeeding in the city of Leicester, um, but at six to eight weeks a third of those are no longer breastfeeding. What we'd really like to do is to promote women to breastfeed for longer. Um, we're hoping to create a booklet of information to help women get out and about with their baby so that they can feel confident um, um, that there are facilities and uh, places they can go to breastfeed um, without uh, being made to feel uncomfortable. And what do you hope to achieve? The project is designed to create the book, uh, a booklet and the student midwives here at De Montford University have gone out into the community and collected that information and um, we are currently um, getting that ready for publication and then we will make that freely available to women in the Square Mile area. Um, we are also going to put that information on the Square Mile website and we're hoping to also produce it in uh, at least one other language. Tina Harris, along with all the other members of the project, come here to Foss Neighbourhood Centre once a month to discuss the project's progress. Um, so are there These meetings bring together the members of the project team that come from diverse backgrounds, all sharing a common interest and a goal to improve the breastfeeding rates within the square mile. And it gives them an opportunity to discuss the ideas, to bring all their different perspectives so that the project can move forward efficiently and positively in the right direction. We don't have very, very regular contact, but we do have. One of the members, Helen Ashley, runs Cafe Mamas, a weekly breastfeeding information and support centre in the Great Meeting Chapel within Leicester's Unitarian Church, where women from the local community can come and breastfeed comfortably alongside one another in the city centre, as well as get advice, along with a bit of a chit-chat. Cafe Mamas are a weekly drop-in session for mums who are breastfeeding. We have mums who come to us who are having difficulty at the start of their breastfeeding and we also have mums who are perhaps breastfeeding beyond what their friends are breastfeeding and they come to get a bit of extra support and we've, we've got lots of information for mums when it comes to starting solids and weaning their babies and the babies all come and have a nice time playing together and um, the mums as you probably can see, chat and are able to exchange their stories too because we believe that mother-to-mother -mother support for breastfeeding is the best way to set breastfeeding up to a good start. Uh, we've been coming to Cafe Mama since my son was two weeks old, uh, recommended by my midwife because I was having loads of problems at the start. He was back in hospital because he wouldn't feed, so uh, these ladies have been fantastic. Every week there seems to be something else to get advice on. It's a great uh, way to meet other mums that are uh, you know, going through the same thing and it's fantastic support for mums that are uh, breastfeeding and uh, it's fantastic for the little ones because they meet the kids to play with and it's just a nice friendly place to come. As you can see, breastfeeding baby on the go is a topic a lot of people feel passionate about and everyone involved wants to raise awareness about breastfeeding in public. 
obviously it's a natural way to feed babies and that's what um, breasts are for. Student midwives at De Montford University have gone out into the community to collect vital information from local mothers. They are currently producing an informative leaflet to be handed out within the community to assist them with breastfeeding in public. The leaflet will be having a launch night where everyone involved and the local community will be invited to come along. If you'd like any more information about this topic, please visit the website. Thank you for watching.